Welcome back to Fishing Camp, Fishing Freaks. Taking the fly gear, y'all. I'm not an expert at this, but this is fun. I gotta do some re rigging right now. I gotta put some new tippet on. Going with four pound test indicator, and this current is moving really slow. So it's important to, to get that movement just right. And, uh, and we're gonna try to get our three trout using the fly and have a little fun in the process. So. Let's wait for the sun to come up and let's get out there on the water and snag some trout. going on the dinner table tonight, my friend. Wrigley, Here's Wrigley. Give me that fly, give me that mop fly. Okay. I'll string you up. Uh -huh. Already got one, it's dark. going on here. Chest deep. A lot going on. Don't you slip. Don't you slip. Keep it going. Need one more for the stringer. Got my little indicator out there. I'm gonna wait for that to go under. Give it a nice yoink. Mm-hmm. Oh, just did. <clears throat> Biggest one I've caught so far today. Doing the death roll here. 
<clears throat> a little fly out. Here. That is going to fulfill my stringer, folks. Came out here and got it done in about 10 minutes, but I'm going to continue fishing. I don't want to practice getting a little better with my fly skills. My fly skills. Alright, there we go. Well, that's a beautiful thing. That's dinner tonight. Going back to the fam. So I've got a small little cork on the line, about uh, two and a half, uh, almost two three quarter foot up the line, and then I've got this little. It's called a mega worm. It's basically a you know piece of yarn, a little tiny jig head on it, like a one thirty second ounce jig head. And I've just got, I don't even have a tippet. I need to get better at rigging. But I've got four pound test onto my fly line. And that depth of the indicator is just off the bottom. So I'm trying to just put it right off the bottom. And usually there's some current. And it'll just float by the fish. But right now they're just sort of swimming around in this pool. If you get a little wind, it drifts it, but I'm not moving it. I mean, it is straight up like we are bobber fishing. Mm-hmm. Number four. Oh, yeah. Smoking that mega worm today. There it is. Come on. Come on, munch it. Come on. Go nibble. down where they're at. That's the jam. Don't you get caught up in my net, buddy. That one freaking took off with it. Yeah. There we go, guys. This is fun. That's all that fly is. It is just a piece of yarn. Yes, all right, y'all. We have managed to capture our limit early. And I caught a few extras just for fun. But I'm gonna throw them in the cooler right now. I'm gonna take them home. We do family dinners on the weekend. Mom's been wanting some trout, so we're gonna do some trout. Into the cooler. Welcome on back to the tree house where we're doing things outside. I come home, my wife is out here with a rake, getting the garden, getting garden stuff ready. If there's something, she's a nester. 
when I leave, she's a she's a nester. I come home, there's just new things. It's always fun, uh, especially when I go on long trips. So she is actually getting a uh, a flower bed ready to plant some some blue bonnets. That's a pretty Texas thing to do right Don't, there. Yeah, you can see those were like some old wildflowers. Yeah. You well, think that's some sprout? I don't know. They're weeds. I think those are dead. So I got a six trout. Okay. And how hungry are you for some trout? Those are just mm. grass. Well, we're going to have them for dinner, right? Yeah. Okay. Those are just grass. Huh. You want to go check on the eggs, son? I heard the chicken squawking out there. There must be some egg laying going on. I'm hearing some mega squawkers. Right before I left, there was another chicken that started laying eggs. And I think it's the frizzle. It's a teeny little egg. A little tiny. It looks like a little ping pong. So there's there's my old, my old big blue. That's my big bluer right there. And that's my that's my other prairie blue, blue bell. The other one's in the box right now. She's super flighty, but maybe she'll let us take a peek. Let's see what's going on. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Oh yeah, she's in the zone. And then looky there. Look at those little eggs. That little, little one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Apologize. Apologize. Go plant those seeds. They're slimy. That's cool. There's a rod, there's a bunch of rod tubes sitting right here and we're just gonna have to open those. Some of these are gonna be bass rods, but I'm hoping a couple of these are some more of those micro rods because that's what I use the most from crappie fishing and trout fishing like we did today. green and it is a micro and this is the one that I was really waiting on right here the ultra light so I've been fishing with the lights which have been pretty much perfect I would say for most of the trout and crappie situation especially the crappie sometimes with the trout I want a little bit lighter for throwing very small stuff I'm throwing the bigger rooster tails and things like that it's not very necessary but throwing the really, really light lures, uh, having the ultralight is, is key. Plus it's fun for bluegill and other things like that. So I'm gonna slap this 1,000 size green series reel on here. That right there is gonna be a meat getter and a fun time, ladies and gentlemen. These are launching in February, so you'll be able to get your hands on them, both the green series and the, and the gold series, which I've been using mostly in my videos. But finally got stocked up on some, we're gonna be good to go for this season. There's a little buggy whip right there. Look at that. Wee! And what is what does that look like to you? Um, that's your trailer and truck and boat. <laughs> and boat. That's right. I was hoping there'd be a sticker in there, a Guggen sticker. Amy is. Um, She's wanting some Guggen stickers, she said. Yeah. Maybe next year Christmas. Yeah, Christmas? I, I'll I wish for some and Santa Claus might give me some Guggen stickers. I think Santa can take care of that. We are going to do some fish cleaning, y'all. Amy said, I told her it was going to be messy, but she said she likes to follow Daddy and watch what he does. And that's how she learns. So. Yeah. You should. Are you sure you can handle this? Yep. Okay. I, I can't clean fish though. It's going to be a little yucky. You want to feel those slimy fish? Uh huh, they might. Check them out. They might. Think they, they're, they're going to bite you? Because no. they have tight teeth. Yeah, you know, what kind of fish are those? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. Rainbow trout? Good job, Emmy. How did you know that? Are they going to wiggle when I touch them? Mm, I don't think so. They're too cold. That is that a little fish fish. Now trout like really cold water and trout like to eat bugs. And they usually live in streams. Cold streams. And they're very pretty and they have very good meat. And your mommy and your Mimi love them. So that's what we're cooking up tonight. No, I love them. 
love salmon. Mm, with there. balsamic on it. With balsamic vinegar on it? You are just like your mama. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to clean these trout. It's really easy. Okay. And I think you you might could even do it next time. With my little camp knife. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's the perfect thing to use. I got Emmy a little, her first Swiss Army knife. I doled it down. Don't worry. I grinded it down so it's round, not sharp, but it has a little scissors on it. It has a little file. It has a little toothpick, you know. It's got her name on it. It's a little pink one. So that's for yeah. when we're going on camping trips and hiking trips. She can carry that out there, and that's her first little knife. So, all right, we got a bucket, we got a knife, we just need some water, and then we're gonna clean them, drop them in here. This is the easiest fish you'll you'll ever clean. I'm not filleting these trout. Um, there is a way you can fillet trout, but it's very difficult on small ones. On these little ones, I just basically we eat them whole body, skins, crispy, and all. Yeah, you can take your little fish leash off of there. Fun with bass boats. All right. There's a little water here. All right, tiny little trout right here, guys. Kept the first one because I, you know, I wasn't sure. You just have to cut it. Yep, we go right behind the head, just like that, okay? And then we go up from the vent. And we go up towards the gills until you reach and you about where those pectoral a, fins are. You might see a male. You might see a male. You know what? You were right. Um, this is a trout. This is a male. No. This is a male. It means it's a boy. Okay. All right. And then we just we just pull that head down and the guts. We could give this to the chickens. They'd probably like it. Yeah, you can give it to the chickens. You want to try it? I'll leave it right there if you're brave enough to touch that fish head and then we're just gonna push push this stuff out right here it's a little bloody just a little bloody a little gooky I can't do that <laughs> I'm rinse it off okay I'm ready I'm do it up here that can be for Mimi you can tell her that you cleaned it I gotta clean it. I gotta clean it. <laughs> All right, we'll take that off. Okay. <laughs> now I've got to use the knife because it's real sharp. Yeah. Why do you keep my knife upstairs? Why do I keep it up there? Uh -huh. Well, I don't want you playing with it all the time. You know, Daddy played with a knife a couple years ago. You remember what happened? Oh, you cut your knee! I did, I cut it right above my knee, and what happened to me? You go to the doctor. Yeah, had to get a lot of stitches. Say, chicken want a trout head? Chicken want a trout head? <laughs> Throw it in there. Go get it! Yee -hee. Yee -hee. A little fish head treat for Maybe him. Maybe next day I can give them another fish. Okay. okay, we just got to catch more fish. Uh -huh. That's all. Um, I want to put that in there. Okay, all right. We're just going to clean out the middle. You throw it in there, okay? Okay. And duck. Got that butter, lemon. SPG or no? You know, I didn't put any on that. No, no spice? Nope. Straight up. Straight up. Good one on the egg. We missed you at trout camp this year, Dad. You know, I've, I've, God, I wish I could have made it. I hope I get an invite next year. All right, everybody, this trout is ready. And if you've never cooked these little trout like this, the way that you eat them, you're gonna take your fork after they're cooked, 
that meat is nice and soft and you're going to pull apart right there at that rib cage that midsection and go in the, the, the direction of these bones right here and that will keep you from getting bones in your bite and you can kind of pick apart the little stuff but you take that fork and it just kind of gets in there in between those those bones and makes you a nice clean bite like that and then the top up here by the spine you just push it off and it's really clean so it's a little bit different bone set up and it makes for a little bit easier eating but that right there my friends is a freshly caught trout about to go in my mouth lemon some black pepper gotta have that butter in there in that tin foil and then cook them on there until that that meat just starts to peel off the bone real easily and enjoy the fruits that come from the mountain streams from our good lord or the fish farms either or very delicious full of protein and a great outdoor meal it's time to put away the phones and the cameras and go enjoy family dinner night and enjoy these delicious trout that we just caught. So thank you guys for tuning in to these vlogs this week. I am about to fly out to Florida and do some, some bass fishing for Coogan Week, and I think we are going to crush them. It is setting up to be a, a really good week. So if you guys want to stay tuned for more bass fishing over there at the Coogan Squad channel, subscribe to that and subscribe to this channel right here because you know we do it. We do it on the outdoor action. I hope you enjoy the outdoor world with great passion, just like I do. And I'll see you guys on the next one.